So one of the cool things you can do with Carbon in Maya 2020 is to use the validity of the Maya cache to drive the Carbon cache revaluation. This means that an animator can more easily work with a clothed character and rely on the Maya cache to trigger the Carbon simulation from the last valid keyframe. The Carbon simulation runs behind the scenes and so should not slow down the rig evaluation. Before we look at a simple example, there are a few important setup requirements. One, you need to tick the integrate with cache playback in the carbon simulation attribute editor. Two, in the cached playback preferences, you need to tick cache dynamics. And three, you need to have the Maya cached playback enabled. Okay, so let's rotate some joints in this cylinder and set some keys. Let's set a key on joint five at frame five. As soon as we set the key, carbon resims the cloth. Now let's set a key at frame 11. But just before we do that, let's bring the script editor into view to confirm which frames are being resimulated. Okay, so here you can see it's simulated from frame 1. Now let's set another key at frame 16. This time you can see carbon simulated from frame 5. This is typical of it needing to go back two keys. Now if we move to joint 8, and set a key at frame 22. When it resims this time, it has to go back to frame 1. Now, if we set a key at frame 9, and then another at frame 27, we can see that it now resims from frame 10. And that's all there is to it. Carbon just sims away in the background and helps you evaluate the impact of animation and rigging on the cloth sim before you hand it off to CFX. We hope you find this feature useful and thanks for watching.